Hello everyone, welcome back to another quick tutorial. Glad you are here with me today. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install and set up OpenVPN on your Windows 11 operating system. Whether you are looking to connect to a company server or just want a secure way to browse, OpenVPN is a fantastic tool and we are going to cover it all step by step from downloading it to getting running with a free service. So let's take our time and dive into this together. We will kick things off with the installation process. Grab your favorite browser, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, whatever you use, and open any tab. In the search bar, type OpenVPN and hit Enter. The very first link you'll see should be from OpenVPN.net. That's the official site, so it's the one we want. Click on it, and once the page loads, take a good look. At the top, you'll notice a bunch of tabs like Solutions, Products, and Community. We are after the free community version of OpenVPN, so hover your mouse over the Community tab. A little drop-down menu will pop up, find downloads in the list, and give it a click. That will take you to the community download page where we'll sign the installer. On this download page, scroll down slowly, don't rush it. You'll come across a section that mentions OpenVPN installers for Windows. There are a couple of options here, a 64-bit MSI installer and a 32-bit MSI installer. Most modern Windows 11 systems are 64-bit, so Unless you have an old version, let's go with the Windows 64-bit MSI installer. Look for the line. It might say something like OpenVPN 2.6x or whatever the latest version is and click the download button next to it. The file is pretty small, maybe 30 or 40 megabytes, so it won't take long to download, probably just a few seconds depending on your connection. Keep an eye on your download folders or wherever your browser stash files. Once the MSI file is ready, head to your download folder or wherever it's downloaded. Double click it to start the setup. Your browser might still be open in the background, so feel free to minimize it to keep your screen clean. The OpenVPN setup windows will appear and it's really user friendly. You'll see a big install now button right there. Go ahead and click it. Almost instantly, Windows might pop up a security prompt saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, such as Windows being cautious? Since we grabbed this from the official site, it's safe. Click yes. The installation kicks off and you will see a progress bar moving along. This part is quick, maybe a minute or two, so just hang out while it installs. It's setting up all the necessary files and components in the background. When it's done, you will get a message like OpenVPN installation completed successfully. Perfect. Hit close to exit the installer now. Take a peek at your desktop, you should see a new OpenVPN GUI icon showing there, ready to roll. If it's not on the desktop for some reasons, no worries, click the Windows Start button in the bottom left, type OpenVPN into the search bar, and it will show up as OpenVPN GUI. You can also find it in the Start menu under All in the All Apps list. Either way, it's installed and waiting. Let's launch it for the first time. Double click the desktop icon or find it in the start menu and open VPN GUI will start up right after installation. A small window might pop up saying no available connection, profile, or config file found. Don't squeeze it, that's totally normal because we haven't added any VPN config file yet. This Windows actually helps, though. It shows you where to put those files later. You will see to path lister something like C users, your name, OpenVPN config, or C program files slash OpenVPN slash config. Write those down somewhere, maybe in notepad or on a scrap of paper. Because we will use them soon, for now, click OK to close that message. 
After that, check your taskbar down in the bottom right near to clock. You should see the open VPN GUI icon, a little screen with a lock on it. If it's not there right away, click the up arrow to reveal hidden icons. It will be hiding in that tray. This icon is your command center. Right click it. And you will see a short menu, import settings and exit. We are going with import first, hover over it and click import file. This opens a file explorer windows where we will add a config file, but we don't have one yet. Let's grab a free one to test this out for this demo. We will use VPN book, a free VPN service. That's great for learning. Open your browser again. Pipe VPN book into the search bar and hit enter. The top results should be vpnbook.com. Click that link when the site loads. Look at the tabs up top, find free VPN and click it. You will see a page with three sections, PPT VPN, Open VPN, and some proxy tabs. We want the free Open VPN section in the middle. Scroll down a bit and you will spot a list of VPN bundle files for different regions, USA 1, USA 2, Canada, Europe, and so on. These are all free for testing, so let's pick USA 1 Open VPN Certificate Bundle. Click the download link and it fetches a zip file, something like VPN book dash us one dash TCP 80 zip. When the zip finished downloading, go back to your downloads folder, find it and right click it. Choose extract all from the menu and a window will ask where to unzip it. The default is fine. Usually the downloads folder, so just hit extract. It will unpack a few files, including some with .ovpn extensions like VPN book, US1, tcpreis.ovpn, comma, opens a new folder. Click the folder path at the top and copy it. Minimize your browser again to keep things clean, then head back to open VPN. Right click the taskbar icon, go to import and click import file. Paste that copied path into the address bar of the file explorer window. Hit enter and you'll see those extracted files. Select the VPN book qsa1tcpr.ovpn. It's a reliable pick and click open. You'll get a message saying file imported successfully. Sweet. Click OK to close it. Now right click the open VPN icon again. This time the menu is bigger. You'll see options tied to the config file, including connect. That's our next move. Click it. To link up to the VPN server, a login window will pop up asking for a username and password. Where do we get those? Back to VPN book, reopen your browser, go to VPN book, com, and scroll down the free VPN page. Paste the download links. You will find a section with credentials. Username is usually VPN book and the password is a random string like K9P2M7X. You can copy it. Type it carefully into the open VPN window, VPN book for username, then the password exactly as shown. Check it twice, then hit OK. Open VPN will start connecting. You will see some log messages scrolling it. Status window, give it a moment, maybe 10 or 20 seconds. If it works, the taskbar icon turns green and the menu swaps connect for disconnect and reconnect. You are live on VPN Books US 1 server. Right click the icon and pick show status to see the connection details. It's all there. You've got other options too. View config to pick add settings, edit config to tweak them or clear save the password if you don't want it stored. That's the whole tutorial guys. You have downloaded OpenVPN, installed it on Windows 11, grabbed a free config from VPN book, imported it and connected to a VPN all step by steps. It's a powerful setup for privacy or work, and now you know how to do it. If this guide got you up and running, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome tips. Catch you in the next one. Stay secure.